Jerry, you better yell! Show me the money! What's up, my homie homies and fellow NFT collectors? As of yesterday, all users on VV now have the ability to KYC their accounts and to cash out. So today's video is going to be talking about how to get your account KYC so that you have the ability to cash your gems out into actual money or cryptocurrency. So first off, KYC stands for Know Your Customer, and this is a process, if you've done cryptocurrency before, that you know that every exchange, cryptocurrency exchange, makes their users go through to verify that they are who they say they are before they can cash out their cryptocurrency into actual money. And Vivi is going to have that KYC process as well in order for users to cash their gems out into money. So Vivi's tweet yesterday pointed out that they are now officially in the public beta for KYC and payout. So from this point on, all users now have access to payout if they have been successfully verified through that KYC program. And they linked a document, a Medium article that lets you know what requirements you need to complete the KYC process and we're going to go through that today. The VV KYC process has three steps. You got the selfie, you got your proof of ID, and then you got your address verification and it goes in that order. First off you're going to get your selfie verified which you'll take with your webcam or with your phone and then next your photo ID will be verified and that will have your address on it so your proof of address will be next and that will have to match the address on your ID so let's get into some of the tips to ensure that you get accepted for KYC first off it says your document must contain your full name and home address and keep in mind that home address has to match your proof of address and all corners of the document need to be visible when you're taking a picture uh, we're gonna get into some troubleshooting if you have some problems with that and if you receive the document in the mail, you should take a photo of it. So here they're talking about your proof of address. If you decide to use a utility bill that you received in the mail, you need to take a picture of it. But if you have an electronic bill, it'll come in the form of a PDF file. And you'll want to use that instead because that'll be easier for them to read. And I have been suggesting to people that they use a bank statement that they can download from their online banking site. That's a PDF of the last six months because the next step here says proof of ad address must be issued within the last six months. So sometimes a bank statement being a PDF will be easier for them to read and will get accepted faster. The next tip says you can use your ID document as proof of address if it contains your home address information, but in this case you will need to provide another ID document as your proof of identity. You can't use the same document to prove both your address and your identity. So what they're saying here in that three-step process, if you decide to use your ID since it has your address as your proof of address, the third step, you'll have to have another picture ID to be your second step, the proof of ID. And the last tip lets you know that the ID document you use for the ID check can be for a different country than what you use for proof of address. They realize that people can live somewhere different to where they were born, of course. All right, let's talk about some problems that you might encounter where you're trying to get verified through the KYC process. The first step is the selfie. Some people have been having trouble getting their selfie verified. My guess is that it has to do with the lighting. Make sure that you have enough lighting whenever you're taking that selfie. It's going to tell you to roll your face around so they get all angles of your face. So make sure that you do that as well. The next step is to get your proof of ID verified. That's going to be your driver's license or your government ID most likely as long as it has a photo on there. And they do specify that it has to be in color. You can't use a temporary ID because it's black and white. And the guidelines also say that the ID shouldn't be expired. However, I was able to get my expired ID to work for verification for VV when I first tried it. You can either attempt to verify your VV account through the KYC process on the web app or through an Android mobile phone. You can't use an Apple device. And as you're attempting KYC verification, this page right here is going to pop up. Normally the verification only lasts five minutes or less, but with a lot of people trying to verify through KYC right now, it's been a little bit slower. So you can stay on this page right here and wait for your answer to come through, or you can X out of this page and watch your email for a response to whether you were verified or not. Keep in mind that the responses seem to always come into my spam folder of my email. And if you click uh, this is not spam or mark as safe, then it will no longer pop up there and it'll start showing up in your regular inbox. But if you don't mark it as safe, just keep in mind that it's probably going to show up in your spam folder and it's going to let you know if you've been verified or if you need to try again. Most of the time, whenever your verification, your KYC verification fails, 
you'll get another attempt, but after a certain amount of attempts, and for some people after the first or second attempt, you get this screen right here, which lets you know that you can't attempt anymore, your KYC has failed. I've had that screen pop up on me before the first time I tried to get through the KYC process. My old ID had my old address on it, so it didn't work. And I was able to put in a support ticket through vv.me, which we're going to go through. And at that point, you simply have to wait for VV to reset your KYC so you can try again. If you're having trouble getting your ID or your address verification to go through the KYC process, try to make sure that your picture is clear by wiping down your camera before taking the picture, making sure you have really good lighting and making sure that the documents are readable. If they're not readable, you might have to sign up for that utility through their website and then you'll be able to get the PDF file and you'll be able to KYC with that. If you're not able to get through the KYC process because the address on your ID doesn't match the information you have to use as address verification, your only option may be to go get a new identification card. As of yesterday, you have until July 31st to get your account KYC'd on VV. Up until then, even if you're not verified yet, and even if you've failed the verification, you can still go for drops, you can still buy and sell on the market. They've opened those features back up to everybody, whether they've been KYC'd or not. If you're on an Android or the web app, you'll see a blue bar at the top of your screen, which will let you know that you have until July 31st to continue to be able to use the VV features. Another problem I'm hearing a lot of people having is when they try to log into the VV web app, whenever they enter their email and their password, they get their 2FA and they enter that 2FA code, but they click the continue button and nothing happens. It seems like the only solution for that right now is to reset your password. You might not be able to reset it through the web app, so you have to reset it through your mobile app and then use that new password to log in through the web app. And if it still doesn't work, the only option from there is to put in the support ticket at vv.me. So if your KYC verification has failed and you're not able to attempt it again, or you're not able to log into the web app, go to vv.me, the website. I'll link it in the description below. And at the top right here, you'll see a button called support. Click on the support button. And then at the top, you have a drop down menu for the contact us option. Click on technical support. And from this page, at the very bottom, you'll see a button for next steps. And after you click next steps, you'll be able to submit a support ticket. Make sure you read all the information before submitting the support ticket and only submitting one support ticket for the problem. And you should be able to get your KYC reset within a couple days. I know they probably have a high load of people requesting it right now. But as soon as that's reset, you'll be able to attempt it again. And then you have until the end of the month to get your account verified so that you can continue to go for drops and buy and sell on the market. Once your VV account is verified through the Know Your Customer process, you will then have the ability to pay out your gems to cryptocurrency or to actual fiat money to your personal bank account. It says here you must have a minimum balance of 1,000 gems enabled to qualify for paying out your gems to cash or cryptocurrency and the minimum withdrawal amount is 100 gems. So you have to have 1,000 gems in your account at least and the least you can uh, withdraw at a time is 100 gems. There is a 10% withdrawal fee so you can expect that as well. And it says the maximum withdrawal amount for now is 50,000 gems per every seven day period. If you have multiple VV accounts or you have a kid that has a VV account who's under the age of 18, uh, just note that they went over that during yesterday's community update that they have a plan for that and that you don't have anything to worry about. We, we are completely aware that a lot of users and VV have multiple accounts. Um, and, and obviously that's, you know, not been an issue in the past, but now with KYC coming in, you know, you really, you're, you're going to be isolated to a single account. Um, and I just wanted to mention that we will be rolling out a feature that will allow users to merge their accounts, um, over the next sort of one to two months. So if you've got multiple accounts, don't stress out too much, make sure you KYC on your main account, <clears throat> and then we'll bring out this feature that will allow you to merge your other accounts into your main KYC account. And that will transfer all of your collectibles and gems, uh, et cetera, from, from the other accounts into your, into your main one. So it sounds like they're gonna have a process for people with multiple VV accounts to combine those accounts and also a way for kids to have accounts on VV as well. And if you noticed in David Yu's background, there was a, the Amazing Fantasy 15 comic. That's the first appearance of Spider-Man, one of the most expensive comics in the physical world. And I do think that they're hitting around that that's going to be dropping soon. A lot of people think it might be dropping on August 1st, which makes sense since that's the day after all accounts need to be through the Know Your Customer verification in order to go for drops. So prepare yourself for that. It could be coming soon. You might need to save up some gems for the first appearance of Spider-Man.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you don't have any problems getting verified. And if you do, this video helps you get through the process. I'll see you guys at the next Drop Day live stream. Later.